Bonjour. I'm Matthew Luff, the chair of the Ottawa Public Library Board and counselor for Orléans. It is such a pleasure to be one of the first to say congratulations to all of the winners of awesome authors this year. You should all be proud of your accomplishment and take it as an opportunity to grow as writers and creators. Félicitations à tous les gagnants de concours des super auteurs 2022. J'espère que vous continuerez à cultiver votre art et à surprendre le monde par votre créativité. I want to thank all who participated in this year's contest. OPL, with the support of the Friends of the Ottawa Public Library, has been providing the Awesome Authors Contest for decades to encourage creativity and cultivate the art of writing in our city. Each year, young writers from the Ottawa region are invited to submit an original piece of writing, in English or French, in one or all of the three categories, poetry, short story, and comic. OPL received 518 entries this year, which is more than we received in previous years. How exciting to know that we have so many young authors here in our beautiful city of Ottawa. Ainsi, près de 518 jeunes ont répondu à l'appel cette année, une année que personne n'oubliera de si tôt. Nous sommes touchés par le talent, la créativité et l'imagination incroyable de nos jeunes écrivains. Nous sommes d'autant plus émus par leur message de résilience et leur capacité de traduire ce qu'ils vivent dans les mots d'espoir et de solidarité pendant cette période difficile. We're also moved by the participants' ability to use writing as a means of escape and, and expression in such unnerving times. A warm thank you to all of our jury members. Catherine Austin, Amelinda Berubi, Eric Pelado, Jean-Luc Bilanger, and Khalifa Apollo the Child Hamden for their generous work in being such an inspiration to these young writers. Nos membres de jury ont travaillé sans relâche pour la réalisation de ce concours. Leur passion et dévouement grandement apprécié. Finally, I want to highlight the remarkable support that the Friends of the Ottawa Public Library Association has given us, which has made this contest such a success. Merci à l'Association des Amis de la Bibliothèque publique d'Ottawa d'avoir soutenu de façon généreuse cette initiative et de recueillir uh, toutes les œuvres de nos gagnants dans un livre intitulé Popourri. Be sure to get a copy of the Popori Anthology later this year. Restez à l'écoute pour vous en procurer un exemplaire plus tard, plus tard cette année. For those who would like to be a part of this journey in 2023, keep, please keep your eye out on our website and social media for updates about the contest. And we will see you next year. À l'année prochaine. Merci et bravo. Congratulations to all. Hi, awesome authors. I had a great time reading all your entries. Your enthusiasm and your talent really shine through, and it's such a privilege to see it. Thank you for trusting me with your words. Like I do every year, I want to remind you that this is a very subjective process. And if you pursue writing and publishing, you're going to hear a lot of that S word, subjectivity. Any submission process, whether you are entering a contest or submitting to a magazine or a publisher, it really comes down to individual perspective. I'm one set of eyeballs, and someone else might come up with very different results. So keep writing and keep putting your work out there. So let's start with our three honorable mentions. The first of these is Mac Gerard, who is 13 years old and attends Holy Trinity Catholic High School. And his entry is entitled, Where Did All the Time Go? Mac used repetition and concrete details to great effect to show how, uh, how two people have grown apart over many years. Next, we have Mac Zostalo, who is also 13, for a story entitled The Queen of the Mind. This entry built a great creepy voice that was really evocative of the sinister hive mind 
portrayed in the story. And next we have Alexandra Wallace, who is 13 years old, for an entry called Kitty Cat, and Alexandra attends École Secondaire Franco Cité. This is another super voicey entry, and anyone who is owned by a cat will immediately recognize this feline snooty attitude. So now we move on to our winners, starting with third place, where we have Lucy Hambly, who is 13 years old and attends A. Lauren Cassidy in elementary school. And Lucy's entry is entitled The Fourth Planet from the Sun. This entry gives us an evocative snapshot of an astronaut right at the point they've been working toward their whole lives. It really captures the optimism and the finality of that moment. In second place, we have Sophia Hughes, who's 15 years old, and her story is entitled The Raven's Gold. I really love the vivid imagery and the dark fairy tale atmosphere of this piece. It tells the story that the villagers tell outsiders and then reveals the terrible reality, as well as a glimpse of hope. And in first place, we have Mariam Gaber, who is 14 years old, for a story called Destroy or Be Destroyed. Mariam gives us a believable monologue full of painful details and it paints a vivid picture of a toxic friendship. Bit by bit, it builds towards a grim twist. That's it for this year. Congratulations to all the winners, and to all the awesome authors who submitted entries to the contest. I hope I get to read your words next year. Wow, cette tâche-là a été plutôt difficile. Il y avait tellement d'histoires captivantes que j'ai dû me baser sur certains critères comme la qualité de la langue, l'originalité, euh, la capacité à raconter une histoire en tant que telle euh, afin de déterminer quelle nouvelle littéraire remporterait les prix du concours. Chez nos auteurs de 13 ans à 18 ans, il y a quelques mentions honorables. Donc la première mention honorable, c'est pour la nouvelle « Ça va mieux ». La seconde mention honorable, et pour la nouvelle « La chute de la Gaule ». Et maintenant, les trois lauréats. Donc en troisième place, la nouvelle « Seul ». En deuxième place, la nouvelle « Edwin ». Et en première place, la nouvelle « Ment pour moi ». Encore une fois, félicitations aux lauréats et lauréates, félicitations à tous les jeunes auteurs. C'est fantastique de voir qu'il y a autant de talent dans la région, puis je vous souhaite de réaliser tous vos rêves en tant qu'auteur. Hey everyone, really glad to be judging this category again, the, the comics. I truly enjoy doing comics. I've enjoyed doing comics since ever, forever. Uh, had some pretty, pretty interesting uh, submissions this year for this category, and uh, I've had quite a few. Always difficult to pick winners, and uh, I was able to choose three honorable mentions as well as three winners. So here we go. So for my three honorable mentions, I can say pretty much around the same thing. They, they had excellent drawings and a nice little classic gag that, that comes with a with some wordplay. So uh, all three of them had kind of like the same vibe going to them. So there's no particular order. It's really like they've all been great. So we've got as an honorable, a non-honorable mention, uh, Center Rose Greg with the Adventures of Mew and Speck, Not Much Room from Collège Catholique Franco West. Uh, it's been. I think she's she's been uh, sending entries since the beginning of this category, uh, at least from the younger ca category before, and uh, she she's been in the winners or the honorable mention since the beginning. So congratulations! I really enjoy your your cartoons. Uh, then we have Anna Sophia McLaughlin, uh, that from above, and uh, she had. Wordplay with some cats, uh, some cats, some fish in this one. Uh, and then we have Luisa Al Jara with Pancake Fun from Al Furkin School. Uh, so she, it was a gag about pancakes and uh, they looked uh, delicious 
although they had faces, so I'm not sure I would have been able to eat those pancakes, but uh, yeah, truly enjoy these three cartoons, uh, pretty close to equal in my in my mind. Um, then for the uh, the three positions, we've got Dana Xiao for uh, X equals off the pages. Uh, she also was one in the past, I, I'm familiar with that name. And this cartoon was well drawn, but pretty creative too. She used mathematics as her, her, her to, to the focal point of her scenario. And it's pretty interesting, a pretty interesting story. So uh, congratulations to Dana. Then we've got in second place, Amal Khan with Little Astronaut. Uh, very well drawn. It's very inspired by the Little Prince, but he has his own take on it. Uh, or she has her own take on it. And uh, it's, it's, it's very, very nicely drawn. Uh, very sweet little story with this little astronaut. And then as the winner, we have Deanna James, another familiar name with Homework Help uh, from Longfield Davidson Heights Secondary School. Uh, very well drawn, very realistic drawings. Uh, there's no words, the two page cartoons. It's very smooth and calm and relaxing. And it goes with the, the actual story itself because you got this girl that's working on her homework. Uh, we feel that she's in silence, maybe listening to music. And then you've got her cat that keeps coming around and just being interested in what she's doing, even if uh, she's not really paying attention to the cat. And it ends up they, that she, she, she has the cat cuddled to her. So it's really, really cute. I really enjoyed that, uh, that cartoon. Very well drawn. So congratulations to Sienna James for your uh, first place uh, cartoon. And uh, congrats to everybody. And hope I get even more participants next year. Bye, guys. Alors, pour les grands, euh, j'ai pas eu beaucoup de participation cette année. J'espère que, comme pour les, les, les soumissions anglaises, qu'il va en avoir plus chez les 13 à 18 ans. Donc, c'est pour, le, pour le, cette raison que parmi les entrées que j'ai eues, j'ai décidé d'en choisir un pour faire un, un, une vraie compétition. Alors, la personne que j'ai choisie, euh, je l'ai choisie en fonction de plusieurs critères, dont la créativité, euh, le scénario, le dessin. Et la personne euh, qui se mérite une première place, la seule gagnante dans cette catégorie, c'est Danica Xiao, avec euh, La poubelle de Maryville High School. Alors, euh, félicitations, Danica. What is going on? My name is Khalifa Hamdan. I go by the stage name of Apollo the Child. Uh, I was the judge for this year's Awesome Authors Poetry Contest. Uh, I want to take the time to thank the Ottawa Public Library and friends of the Ottawa Public Library for giving us this platform uh, to be able to share poetry and judge poetry. So congratulations, everyone who submitted. You're all winners of my book uh, because I know how hard it is to you know, put your poetry forward to be graded and uh, competed against other people. Trust me, I speak from experience. So congratulations, everyone. If you didn't win this year, please do not be discouraged. Uh, I can tell you the competition gets really, really thick and like very close. So try again next year. So without further ado, here's how it's going to work. We got six poets who won. Uh, we got top three honorable mentions and then top three poets in general. Um, so we're going to do in the order of three, two, one. I'll try my best to get your names right. And if I do make a little mistake, I do apologize. I know how important names are, but I will try my best. So without further ado, I got my list of winners right here. And the third honorable mention, we got Dana Chow with Love Letters. Congratulations. The poem was very, very well written. Um, I felt good reading it. It was a great poem. I think you did an exceptional job. Please keep writing. Uh, second honorable, honorable mention, we got Cleo Carney with Polished Marble from Elmwood School. This one was very heart-wrenching. It really took me on a journey that, like, 
I came out being like, I, I wanted more. <laughs> so congratulations, Cleo. Please keep writing. First honorable mention, we got Andrea Fofuka with whatever Audible wishes to be heard. This one was another one that I think was executed very, very well. I love the content. I love the delivery. I love the work. I love the writing. I was jealous. I won't lie. Congratulations, Andrea. Please keep writing. In third place, we got Alyssa Khan from Sir Wilfrid Laurier from Soot and Cole. This was another one that really, really kind of grabbed me by the heart. It was very heart wrenching. Um, and I just, I wanted more. <laughs> so, congratulations, Alyssa. Please keep writing. It's the saying. Second place, we got Chloe Danks with Free Flying Raven. And this was another poem that was very, very well done, uh, very important, very topical in terms of current events. So congratulations, Chloe, please keep writing. And in first place for 2022 Awesome Authors Poetry Contest, we got Mallory Quinn with Black Picket Fence. And this poem was very, very well written. Uh, the narrative was amazing. It's a very, very important message. So congratulations, Mallory. Please keep writing. Thank you all for submitting. Uh, I hope to see you guys next year. Uh, do not get discouraged if you didn't hear your name. Congratulations and have a great, exceptional day. Je dois vous avouer que ma tâche en tant que juge a été plutôt ardue, étant donné la quantité de poèmes et la qualité des poèmes qui ont été soumis. J'ai dû me baser sur certains critères, comme la créativité, la qualité de la langue, l'originalité du propos, le style, etc., pour pouvoir déterminer quel poème gagnerait ce concours. Chez nos poètes de 13 ans à 18 ans, il y a trois mentions honorables ainsi que trois lauréats. Donc, pour commencer avec les mentions honorables, euh, le poème « Études en ré mineur », le poème « Aimé », le poème « Feu tricolore ». Et nos trois lauréats, donc en troisième place, le poème « La fenêtre », en deuxième place, le poème « La mort ». Et en première place, le poème « Facteur biologique ». Félicitations à tous les lauréats et les lauréates. Félicitations aussi à tous les candidats qui ont soumis des poèmes de très grande qualité. Je vous encourage de continuer d'écrire, continuer de vivre cette passion-là que vous avez pour l'écriture. C'est vraiment fantastique de voir tout le talent qu'il y a dans la région. Hi there, my name is Sherry Hillaby. Friends of the Ottawa Public Library Association. First, I want to extend my heartfelt congratulations to each awesome author winner of 2022. For the last 16 years, our association has been proud to oversee the publishing of your winning works. More information on when that'll happen and what we'll need from you to make it happen will be available over the summer months. Once again, my congratulations go to each of you, and I look forward to reading all the interesting poems, short stories, and comics from 2022.